Welcome down to the table, everyone, where we have everything set out for a game of Solo Bullet. If you're not familiar with Bullet, this is based on kind of an anime uh, bullet hell style game. You have these bullets in different colors and numbers coming down at you, and you are trying to deflect them and clear them and take out the, in, in the Solo game at least, take out the boss before you lose all of your life. You have some abilities over here. It's basically a very, very cool puzzle game. We're going to be playing against Ling Ling's uh, counterpart, Ghost in the Machine, uh, who is still Ling Ling, but we're playing against her Ghost in the Machine, and we'll be playing as Esfer. Esfer is one of the easier characters. Uh, she has a power. Her hand size is four. We'll see what that does in a minute. But Ghost in the Machine, I actually have not beaten that yet. So let's finish setting up. Our goal is, in a solo game, to get rid of the five shields of the boss. So we have these five shields here, and to get rid of these shields, there are small numbers under these that say 5, 10, 15, 20. That is based on the number of players. For one player, each shield is going to be five bullets. Five bullets deflected or uh, taken off of ours, cleared. We'll come over here and we can take off the shields. Now, typically you can stack and do multiples. Uh, so you could do have 10 bullets over here and take off two shields at one time. But Ling Ling has a special ability. And one of part of the special ability is that you cannot break more than one shield each for each round. So that means that we, we're going to have to do these in at least five separate rounds. And then... The other part is if she has bullets coming at her, in her incoming, so each bullet, it doesn't matter the number value on it, each bullet counts as one. So if she has five bullets, when it's time to compare at the during the boss phase, then of course we would turn those in and we would take away a shield. However, if she has six or more bullets, it says if the amount is, in, is exceeded, return all bullets into the center and the center is this bag right here so we have to get five exactly and then she has some special abilities in her patterns deck that will come out each round that will make it even harder for us so let's deal out a card into active pattern we have the AR bomb version 1.0 and it's saying that unless we have a quadrant of four covered then whatever this ability is will go off during the boss phase. So we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's talk about our character. This is our, called our sight. This is where the color bullets will be coming down. If they ever come to the bottom, they will move over and take our health. If we ever run out of health, we lose. We also have action points over here and some actions we can do. With the cost up here in the left-hand corner, we can pay an action for instance and we can move a bullet left right or down one space for one action point if we want to move one up it's going to cost two action points if we want to move down even further let's say we want to move down three spaces it costs us two points uh, or we can go all the way from the top to the bottom for only two points if you want to look at it that way and two points are going to let us draw an action card or a pattern card so she has a hand of pattern cards, or a deck of pattern cards. We shuffle these up, and we are going to deal out our hand. And this is how we get rid of the bullets on our site. This is the way we're going to clear them and send them over to the Ghost of the Machine. So bullets are going to be coming down. They have numbers on them. So if we draw, we draw a red one. We'll put it in the first spot there, red column. Then if our second one was a yellow two, we find the yellow column and we count two down, one, two. And we keep drawing, so there is no space for a red one here, so we would go to the next one down. And it keeps going like that, so another two, one, two, a green one. So that's how that will go, and if ever we can't put one, so uh, let me peek in here one second and find a four of some sort. So let's say in the future that our board looks like this and we draw, we pull out a blue four, one, two, three, four. It will go down here and then move over because there's no space for it. The other thing we're looking for 
is trying to clear bullets. Clearing bullets are these kind of PAL symbols right here, and then the circles are the requirements. A solid circle means, for instance, this one, two, and three. Three bullets in a column, we can clear up to three bullets to the left. We can't move, uh, turn these or rotate them in any way. They have to be like this. So if we had this set up, we could clear these two bullets and send them over to Ling Ling. Uh, this one is if we have two here and two here, it doesn't matter if there are any in the middle or not, two here and two here, we could clear this, these three right here. These mean that they have to be equal. So we're looking for one number, it doesn't have to be the same color, but one number with another number equal with a space in between. It doesn't have to be empty, but a space in between. We also have spaces that are represented by dotted circles. That means they do have to be empty. And then sometimes there isn't a specific number requirement. Uh, and sometimes there's a specific color requirement. So these are all things we have to look forward to. Let's reset our board and start our game of Bullet with Esper versus the Ghost in the Machine. So the first thing we do, we actually don't pull out of this bag except for the beginning of each round because that is a bag with a lot in it. We start the game by putting 10 tokens, which I've already put into here. So 10 tokens are in here and we're going to start pulling them. Now, during our turn, we can pull tokens and we can do actions. And we keep doing this until we have pulled all of the tokens out of this bag. So we start pulling. I just like to start pulling tokens and start placing them until I can start working on some of these over here. So one, there's a two yellow. So we go one, two. And we get a two green. We have a two red. So we're getting a good spread so far. We have another two yellow, one, two. Okay, I want to be careful because I definitely don't want to pull a yellow four. So maybe I want to start manipulating things. Let's see. Um, maybe, maybe I'll wait. I'll keep pushing my look a little bit. Three pink. Okay. Keep going. We got four, one, two, three, four. Blue. I have three more left. So I think let's talk about the boss a little bit and we can figure out what we want to do. Her pattern right here, whenever it's the boss's phase, if we have this pattern, so four in a square box like this, then this doesn't go off. Now most bosses, you're trying to make these patterns and some of them are some pretty hard patterns so that this doesn't go off because usually that will send bullets at you, out of your sight, at you and cause you damage. However, Ling Ling's a little different. She said, this says, return a green bullet from Ling Ling's incoming to the center. Now the center is the white bag that we have all the tokens in. So for instance, let's use some out of the white bag right now. Let's say that we clear some bullets like so. Remember that we are trying to get five. Let's say that we've cleared those bullets right there then if we don't have a quadrant of four, this goes off. That means even though we have five bullets, these two would go back into the bag and then we would be left with three. That's one case. Another case is, let's say that we have this situation going on right here. Well, remember what I said, we have to do five exactly. One, two, three, four, five, six. But if we, we can try to avoid making this, so these patterns are typically easier patterns to make and sometimes you wanna avoid them so that we could get that one taken out and then we would be left with five because we still don't want our board to lose control. So Ling Ling is very interesting with her Ghost in the Machine. Uh, so we're trying to do that. We have a few left. The only other thing is that when you send, I don't have any to show yet, but when you send clear bullets and they have a star on them, like so. So these have stars on them and all of these have stars on them. Uh, you have starred ones and you have regular ones. If they have a star, you actually gain energy back. So I, I'm really worried about some yellows coming out, but 
<laughs> I think let's go ahead and use one here to move that down. And then let's spend two to move this up. Let's go ahead and draw another one. I want to push my light just a little bit for red. One, two, three, four. Okay. So remember, pushing up costs us two. So I could spend the rest of my four to move this one up, and I would be able to get rid of three bullets. I think I'm going to do that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So let's use escape velocity. Get off our planet and don't come back. So it's saying we need on either side, we need tokens and then we can clear the three tokens in the middle. So right here we have a line. We're gonna clear these three tokens and we look, none of them have stars. So they're all going over here. Now I, I could try to get this pattern and I, I could not, it, it kind of sort of doesn't matter right now, but my board's going to stay under control. We don't refill right now. Oh, green two, one, two. And then the last one is a blue two. Oh, see that would have gotten, gotten us what we needed anyway. Okay. Uh, if I had any actions, I could still do actions, uh, even though our bag is empty. So we're going to move to the boss turn. So in the boss turn, we do first, the boss activates their pattern. So they're looking to see, do we have a pattern of a box of four? No, we do not. So they're going to, she's going to send any green bullets back to the center. That's her pattern. So these two, we can't go over, but if we are under, they can stay. But if we do get through any extra wouldn't stay. So it's just if we stay under. So we have two bullets going into the next round. We check to see if a shield's broken, it's not. So we move this back up and draw back up. There we go, we have supernova. So this is saying it wants a red and then another one of any color, any number, and then it can clear the three in this L shape beside it. We have this set up with a two and a two right here, that's good. Uh, we'd have to work to set some more up. Okay, so now we look, we started with 10, that's just how every game starts. Now we draw whatever the shield value is underneath. So it's gonna go nine, nine, 10, 11, 12, and if we break the last one, we're good. We also need the new active pattern, four in a row. So if we fill that one up, we would have that there. And let's gain nine more tokens. Okay, there's our nine tokens in our bag. And let's go ahead and start filling in, and then I can figure out what I want to do. There's a one red. All right, so I don't want a four red. A four green. One, two, three, four. Okay, okay. We have a two yellow. Oh, that's perfect for crushing force. So I could spend two to move that up. Get rid of those two. We need to look returning blue this turn. Huh. So let's do that. Let's spend two to move that up. One, two. Let's move that down. That costs one. And that over, that costs one. So two more. We're down to three. And then we're going to use crushing force. Find the column of three. And then we can clear the three beside it. So we have... Those two and blue may or may not be cleared back to the center. All right, we can do those. And we did do two stars. So that's going to get us two energy back. That's great. That worked out fantastic. All right, let's keep going. We have a one. Oh, okay. That's nasty right there. What can we do about that? Whatever I do would be pretty expensive. I don't want to draw another yellow. They only go up to four, but knowing my luck, I draw three or four. Um, I say let's move this over to green. That's going to cost us one, and that'll just clear up a little more space. Okay. We get a two pink, one, two. Oh, we have graviton or graviton curtain. 
set up. Okay, that's good, that's good. Now, if we wanna move this three down, let's say, it would cost us two because we can't land on a bullet that's already there. So we get a four blue, one, two, three, four. How many are left in here? Three, I think. I mean, I can move this blue over. I really wanna take advantage of clearing blues this turn. So let's move this over, that's one. Let's move this down, it's gonna cost us two. One, two, and that should be, if we clear blues, that'll be three blues, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's do that. So we're gonna clear with Graviton Curtain. Don't let it hit you on the way down. We're going to, these two are equal, so we're clearing the three underneath those. And we definitely don't want to have a line because we now have our five with these going back. And we're gonna get an energy back, back up to two. Okay, got some breathing room here. We have three left. We got a blue two. We have, what is this? A pink one. And last one is a pink one. Okay, good job. Now I still have actions I could use. Let's see, is there anything I can do? I don't have black things set up without, I, I mean, I, I lose these. This always goes back up to seven. So I want to try to use them. Um, I could get rid of this two by using Supernova. I would only be able to get rid of this two. I, mean, I could spend two to get this yellow one over. And then I would be able to get rid of both, but I don't want to get rid of any more colors except blue. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to cycle through Supernova. So I have these two and this one can just come off. It'll go into the blue pile. I do just double checking. I do not have any rows of four. So we're good there. And do I want to move any over for anything else? <laughs> I mean, I could move this, just pay to move this four over would be nice. Let's do that. I think that may be it for right now. I think we're just going to end up losing one. Okay, that's fine. So we look over here and we don't have a row of four. So all of the blues get returned and guess what? We have exactly five. So we get to check and we break a shield. It shatters. And these go back to the center as well. And now we're still gonna draw nine because that's the number there. And a lot of the bosses will have special abilities here that will cause trouble for your hero. But we're okay now. This this one, because she's hard enough as it is, does not have any bonus abilities underneath these when they clear. All right, so we've done that. We draw her next card. Active pattern is now three in a column. That is pretty hard to not have. And yellow, yellow will be deleted. Okay, so we may just have to do a clear round, uh, which is one where I'm not trying to get five, I'm just trying to clear as many as possible. Okay, we're drawing nine car or nine chips, and that goes back at the top. Okay, we got our nine chips in our bag, and okay, anything set up already? We have this one set up. It would delete or it would uh, clear this one, this one, and this one. So we could potentially get that there. Uh, yellow is nice. If we get any more yellows, it uh it will. Clear three below the first two. Just the first one has to be yellow. All right. And then if we put another one here, we we could clear a line. All right. So we've got some options set up. All right. We get a blue one. We get a yellow three. One, two, three. Oh, that's dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. Okay. Let's see. Yellow is going to be deleted this turn. I think let's spin one. To move that there, let's spend one, two to move that there. So we're down to four. We're gonna get one back. And, oh no, we're not gonna get any back. No, that's all right. One, two, three. If we do shooting star, you'll wish you'd never been born. Sorry, I don't have a great anime voice. So these two over there are yellow. They may or may not come into play. 
All right, that gives us some wiggly room right there. We get a red three, one, two, three. We have a two yellow, one, two. Need a green. Oh, look at that, one, green one. It's not the green I needed. I need another green one now, or a green two. That's fine. Let's see, what do we get? Oh, blue three, one, two, three. Okay, that's getting scary. If I move this over and over like so, I could do free floating, which would clear those, and yellow may or may not. So let's do that. That'll give me two stars. So that's gonna cost me two to move it. One, two. And then we're doing free floating, which we're looking for a triangle or a V, upside down V to clear a V. So one, two, three. That's gonna give me two stars back. And I now have six, so I definitely wanna clear those if I can. And I need two back, we have four, we're good. We should have enough to make a column. Ah, but I'm one, one over if I do that. All right, let's, let's try our best to make a column, or not make a column and still clear something. We have a pink three, one, two, three. I have one left, two left, two left. So the first one is a blue one, that goes there. And the last one is, oh, blue four, one, two, three, four. We're gonna have our first hit. Okay, so now, uh, once it hits there, I can't move it. What can I do? Well, I don't wanna do this because that's gonna leave a column behind. Um, I can move both of these, but then I have none here. But I do have four. One, two, three, four. That would leave me with four, not three, but that would clear a bunch. Or four, not five, sorry. Let's do that. One, two, three, four. To get those in that configuration. If I had one more, I'd pull that down, but I don't. So we're gonna get this one and this one. Yeah, this one and this one are cleared. And that is Black Fang. You won't fill a thing. And then we have no three in a, in a column uh, adjacent. So all the yellows are thrown back into the bag. And we're just shy of having enough for a shield. Okay, so that is gone and she draws her last card and then she'll shuffle up for the next time. Uh, this is going to be red, and it's five in a column. That's, that's not too hard. I get too scared to even come close to that. But we're going to have to probably clear more than, more than one. So we want to clear as much red as possible so that we can delete it, or so that they can be taken away. So one of another color and red. That's what we're looking for. Let's gain nine more bullets. All right, our nine bullets are in our bag. Let's get our new cards. We have... Gravity well, and 190 million G Collider. We need one more card, so let's shuffle our cards back up. All right, and we get our Graviton Curtain again. Let's start drawing. Let's see, what do we have set up already? Nothing really. Nothing really. Okay, let's draw. We get a four. One, two, three, four. Pink. Oh, ouch. So we want to get rid of red. Trying to think of how I can get rid of red. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. It would cost me five. I need to move that back up. Five to move this three to there. And that would allow me to get rid of anything in that row. I could spend a six one to move down to there but I would only get one star back. That's awfully expensive. Uh, so I'm looking for, if I move a one down, okay, let's see what we can get. Well, yellow one, yellow one, so that's gonna go here. Ay ay ay. Okay, keep pulling, we get a blue, a red three, one, two, three, okay. I can move this over, oh, I can move that over, that's nice. 
Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four. That's going to cost me four. One, two, three, four. We have our equals here for graviton curtain, and we get to clear these. So graviton curtain, discard that over here. And we have red is moving out. So we have our five, and we got two stars back. One, two. So now we should have a little room, but we still have a lot of bullets left. See if we can clear some more reds. Red three, one, two, three. Oh, ouch. So if I move this over, I could start clearing these, but I don't want to clear a pink. Hey, all right. I don't want to pull red now. One pink. Okay, I'm okay with that. Um, a three green. One, two, three. Ooh, have two left. Okay, I think we're going to do something kind of expensive, but let's try it out. We're going to go here. That's going to cost one. We're going to go here, which is going to cost one and then two to go up. One, two, three. And then we're going to move pink. We're going to move pink up one. Nope, I guess I have to move it down one because I only have one. Okay, so there we go. And then, nope, I can't do that. I have to move it over. Oh, that stinks. I have to move it over because I want... Oh, that didn't fix that either, did it? Nope, that was right. That was right. That was right. That was right. Bam. That was there. That was there. That was there. Okay. I was thinking, I was thinking about that three. I need this. One, two, three are empty. And I can delete or clear these two. And they're reds. Bam. Got it. But now I'm out of energy and I have <laughs> and I have a have a four. Well, I have a four in a row. I just can't have a five in a row. Two yellow. Oh no. One, two, ouch. Oh, I'm scared, I'm scared. Two left. What are the chances of yellow? One, two, okay. What are the chances of the last one's a yellow? Actually, it's decently good. Um, man, so tough. Okay, let's pull it, two green, one, two, woo! Okay, man, that was scary and exhilarating at the same time. All right, so we go over here. We do not have a row or a column of five in a row, so we're good. So these get taken back to the bag, bam, and then we have our next shield for five. Oh, that's so good. It feels so good when you can puzzle that out. All right, we're going to have to shuffle these and deal her a new one. I've gotten her down to her last shield, but I always lose on the second to last or last shield. She's gonna have her Magnet Ray version two again. We move this back up to seven, and here we go, Free Floating and Black Fang. All righty. We need now 10 bullets. Let's go ahead and move this down one, and then we have Starlight Buster. It's gonna clear three in this row, bam, bam, bam. And blue could potentially not be an issue for us. All right, let's 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 draw some. We have, ooh, a blue two, all right. We have a blue one. We didn't get any stars for that, so we didn't get anything back. A pink one. I'm really nervous about yellows right now. Let's see, I have this, so could move that down. That will give me a star back. Let's draw one or two more. C, green two, one, two. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so let's pay two to move this down. We have our free floating, one, two, three. So we get to get rid of these three right here. Of course, blue, hopefully we won't have to deal with because we've got three there. Free floating, lift off. All right. Fantastic. I'm still worried about yellow. Uh, we do get two back. All right. Come on, come on, come on. Red three. One, two, three. Okay, now I'm worried about yellow and red. I do have this possibility. This is usually a good one, but it's not working out right now. I mean, I can move this over. Oh, that would be nice. And this down. Let's do that. That costs two. And then we can play 190 million G Collider. Race for impact. And we get to 
get rid of these three. That's going to give us five if we don't have four in a row. Okay, let's try to avoid that. Four, one, two, three, four blue. A couple more, a few more. One, two, oh, red. Red, you're making me nervous. Three, blue, one, two, three. Oh, we got a four in a row now. Okay, we have enough to do something about that. I got two more left. Come on, not red, not red. Pink two, all right. Whoa. Maybe I can do, yeah, I can do something about that. All right, and a pink two again. All right. So, I've got some stuff. Let's start trying to set up. Um, well, I obviously want to not have four in a row, so moving that green may be a good idea. But I'd have to spend, and I'd have to spend two because I'd have to move it up. Of course, we could do the yellow down. But I have this set up right here. So if I move this down two, that wouldn't be bad. Actually, let's do that. That's going to cost us two. One, two. So now I have set up for Black Fang. One, two, three, four. And then I could even move this up one to get rid of that because I have no idea what color is coming next because we just reshuffled the deck. So let's do that one more. And then what do I want to do? Well, let's just move this one down and prepare for maybe a future card. Okay, so I'm not going to play this yet. Uh, I'm gonna wait till next turn. We look, oh, I do have four in a row though. Dadgummit, so I'm gonna have to move that down one more which would cost the same as moving that down. All right, so we're good, we're good. Wow, that was expensive. That's okay, we need to do what we need to do. All right, here we go. So there's not four in a row now, and we move that, so blue gets deleted. Bam. Fantastic, all right, next pattern. Repulsion Ray. The three in a column. I think it's going to be a clear turn next time. We have five. That's the next one. We're drawing 11 tokens next. 11 tokens. And we need to just do some clear. Whew. All right. That was close. Feels good when you just figure that out. It feels so rewarding. Three, four. All right. All right. We need 11 tokens now. 11 tokens in our bag. And yellow is what we need to get rid of. Oh, of course, we don't have a ton of yellow on here. Okay, so let's move, let's pay two. One, two. Let's black fang this. That's going to get rid of these. None of them are stars. That stinks. Okay, so there's black fang. We do have this set up. I can even spend two more to get rid of another red. One, two, let's do that. We're going to supernova from this two up. And we have two stars and that gives us five. One, two, we have five tokens if we can get rid of yellows, but keeping, keeping three in a column away from each other is pretty hard. Now, I could go on and do the Crushing Force, pay one to do Crushing Force, and really clear up this board for this turn. And that's that's the challenge with this one is, do I clear the board or do I go after the, do I go after the kill? Oh. Let's draw a few and see what happens. Uh, we get a one blue. I'm still scared of a four red. We get a two green. We get a three blue, one, two, three. Okay, we get a four pink, one, two, three, four. There's our second hit. Ah, oh, painful. Painful, painful, painful. That can't happen again, right? Not with red. One, two, oops, one, two, right there. What to do, what to do, what to do. I mean, I still have a, like five, it feels like, left, maybe. Um, shooting star doesn't look, I would have to pay a lot to set that up. Wish I had more yellows. I was really hoping for more yellows in this column so that I could just move this down and move that away. Just to get rid of, of course, I need, and I need to do that and still have a point to move it 
to break it up again. All right, let's go. One, oh, blue, ouch. Okay, I think I'm just gonna have to clear. I still have like, like I said, like five left. So, I actually would really like to clear these. Or, even better, move one, two, that's two. Let's clear these three right here. One, two, three. We're just gonna go over this time. So it doesn't matter what colors we have or how many, because they're all going back to the bag. That was crushing force. All right, we have a two blue. We have a three yellow. Of course I get that now. One, two, three. A three green, one, two, three, all the way down. Oh man, how many do we have left? We have two, 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 two. Now I could get rid of these and I probably should. And actually let's move that over. One, two, let's do shooting star. So I need, so it's gonna get rid of one, two, it's gonna get rid of these two down here. Not the greatest, but it works. All right, that's shooting star. Four, one, two, three, four, yellow. And last one, last one, last one. What is it? Oh, one blue. Okay. Whew. Okay, so we ended up with three in a row. Yellow is not deleted, but we overshot our goal of five by a lot. So they all get sent back and she is unscathed. All right. So draw her next pattern and it is the five in a column. This one's the easiest not to get. So, but there's not a ton of red out there as well. Let's draw this back up, escape velocity. Okay, that should help clear that row that we have. And that'll gain us three because none of those are red. Shooting star again. Okay, we could deal with that. Oh, 190 million G, we could deal with that. All right, let's get 11 tokens. All right, there's the extra tokens. We have 11 in our bag. It's really hard to count these out sometimes, I'm blinded. All right, so, oh, Starlight, Starlight Buster might be good for us. We're trying to clear some red. I say we start with Escape Velocity and do right here to clear that up. Whoops, bumping everything around. Blue, yellow, yellow. That's gone. We should put that back up to seven. And then, oh, just gonna end up pushing our luck a little bit. Three, one, two, three, ouch. All right, we get a green three instead. One, two, three. All right, let's keep pulling, don't be pink. Oh, pink four, bam. All right, come on, now, now it's a race, now it's a race. Oh, what I want. Not, can't be another pink, right? Three. One, two, three. Okay, we're in trouble. Um, hmm. Let's move this down. That costs one. And we're going to do 190 million G Collider. We get to delete these. And that's just going to take us over, I believe. Yep, there's none of red, but we do get two stars back. One, two, I just need to clear this up so that I can set up. All right, that also takes away our only yellow. We need a red, a low red. One, two. One, two, okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, so let's do this down one, that costs us one. Let's do this over and down one. Yeah, I want to do it that way. So that's two. Then we're going to do Starlight Buster, which will delete these three, and two of them are stars. So again, it's not going to matter what it is or how many. Okay, I really want a yellow one. Oh, yellow three. A green one. Um, let's see, I have two left. I'm trying to decide, trying to decide. Blue three, one, two, three. Okay, okay, okay. All right, that's something. 
and then a red three. One, two, three, ouch. Okay, so it cost me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't have enough <laughs> to get a yellow over. I wanted to shoot, shoot star that. Oh, so now the next thing would be, can I move other things? I could move this over for one, this over for one, that's two, three, four, five. So I could do that for five. One, two, three, four, five. That would allow me to get rid of these bottom two. I have one left and I don't think I have anything to do with it except move it. So let's move, let's move that. I think that will give us a little more possibilities. Oh, I still have one left. I was wrong. One pink. Okay. Can't really do anything about that. All right, so we survived another round. We do not have five in a row, so all, but all would be removed. So really, it's in a game of attrition for us. All right, we have the four in a box, and green are coming back down. We need 11 more tokens. 11 more tokens, and I do need to say that we don't lose or we don't win if we like the moment we shatter that last shield we actually have to survive through that last round as well which for some that means there's an attack under here for us it just means don't die beforehand really but we'll see we'll see okay what do i have i need my patterns i think i'm gonna lose this i'm not getting a good feeling anymore all right so do i have any Anything for Graviton Curtain, and greens are going to, oh, of course I don't have a ton of greens. If I move this over to, I have Black Fang set up, so oh, let's do that. Let's move this over to, and then that over, that's three, let's move that back up to seven, one, two, three, down to four. And we have Black Fang set up so we can get rid of these three, none of them are green, but... Maybe we can start with those five and clear our board up a little bit. Thanks, Black Fang. Now, by default, I have a gravity well set up here. I just need to put three there. So I could have used actually gravity well, which may have been a little bit easier. Should I switch those back? Mm. No, nah, it's fine. It's fine. And none of those were stars, so I don't get anything back. All right, so let's start drawing three. One, two, three. So that worked out. Then we have a three green, one, two, three. Green is looking pretty nasty right now. All right, let's keep going. Oh no, one, two, three. And I have lost. Ah, with three cards. Ah, oh, that, that should have done something about that. I should have at least burned those. Wow, what could I have done? Well, I could have moved these down and gotten rid of three here. Yeah, I think I was too much on survival mode. Yep, that's about where I usually get, right in this area, and then I start losing control of my board. Oh, that's still, it doesn't matter. It's so much fun. There's so much fun. You can't, and there's so many tokens that you can't really count them. Sometimes you're gonna get a lot of fours. I didn't get a ton of fours this game, uh, but it's hard to really push your luck. It is, it is pushing your luck, and sometimes you have to, sometimes you don't. I mean, we had a lot of low numbers. We did have three red four red yeah and i've found that red without doing a lot of uh, manipulation red is hard with her just the way that her cards are set up i mean she does have supernova but it requires a red so you have to move reds over you do have this crushing force is usually the only card in here that's really good at getting rid of this red column without a lot of manipulation uh, yellow is good for getting rid of a column but only it makes the one in a yellow very valuable or even a two because you can move it over to shoot the column. But ah, oh, and this is an easier character too. But again, there are easier, there are easier bosses to fight, but that should give you a feel for the game. And there are eight characters and thus eight bosses in here because every character is a boss on the flip side. See, it's the boss version of them. And some of them have some really just neat things, just some neat 
no no one boss is is definitely the same and no one character is definitely the same. And some characters are a lot more tricky than others. Uh, so that is a game of Bullet. Let's go back up top. And that was Bullet. And man, I have to say I'm really enjoying this game. Typically, I don't enjoy puzzle games uh, long term because a lot of them are solvable. They'll have a scenario and once you figured it out, you can't revisit it as much. And this this has that push your luck element that makes it not solvable each time. I mean, you can have a general strategy for each boss character um, and, and uh, definitely some tactics, but the way that these uh, bullets come out of the bag, you never 100% can count on your strategy to work. You can never count on using the same strategy each time. Uh, so you're really beholden to how your cards come out and uh, what bullets come out when and just hoping for the best. And it almost has this great reverse bag building element. It's, it's not a bag builder at all, so that's, that's not the right term, but it gives that same feeling to me, not just because you're pulling things out of a bag, but you know that uh, there's the possibility that you could pull that two yellow that you need or one yellow that you need, and that would be great, and that would be perfect. So sometimes you get that, oh, that was perfect, that's exactly what I needed feeling, but sometimes you can get that the dread that's not in a bag building game um, of, oh man, I just pulled this red four and I'm dead. That's the one thing I didn't need. So I really, really enjoy that. It's, it's a mixture of, of the thrill of pulling the right thing at the right time and the dread of pulling the wrong thing at, at when you least need it. So I've really enjoyed this and I love that every character plays very different. Every boss plays extremely different and the combination of the two just make a whole new puzzle that's replayable and I really enjoy that. I, I can't speak highly enough about this game. I I think that uh, a lot of people have really enjoyed this game so far and I think it's going to be a big hit. Uh, so if you like puzzle style games, if you like uh, short burst games, this, this game is, is you know 15, 30, 45 minutes I think is the max uh, that I've ever played and this is a very short burst game. If you like some of these or, or a game that you can put down and play and replay you know, three or four times in one sitting, this is definitely a game that maybe you should check out. Uh, that is Bullet. If you're new to the channel, think about hitting that subscribe button. We do solo playthroughs of all kinds of board games and we are racing to a thousand subscribers. We have a very special playthrough planned when we hit a thousand subscribers and that's coming up hopefully pretty quick. So think about hitting that subscribe, hitting that like, and sharing this video to others who may be interested in solo board gaming and good board game related content. Thanks so much for watching. Leave any corrections that I may have missed with time steps down in the comments below. And I hope you enjoyed this. Until next time, happy gaming.